Hey yo, what is going on guys? How are you doing today? It is your boy Mr. Squatch and we are back with some more ARK Survival Evolved Mobile. And we are playing on my server, Mr. Squatch's Patrons, which is my private server. If you would like to play, link in the description to become a patron to play on the server. Currently, we do not have a ton of people on the server, so it's not really laggy. There's not too many buildings. It'd be a great time to get on and play. But today, I know a lot of people already know this chat. But I'm going to teach you basically how to get, you know, in a sense, un unlimited soothing bombs, right? So, if I can find the cave. So there's these caves, right, chat? This is probably the easiest cave to run without really any good gear um, or really anything. You could probably honestly run it naked. And we are on, I don't remember the exact name of this cave. Oh my gosh, I think my game's glitched now. Why is my game lagging, chat? And we, uh... Can I put my map? There we go. We are right here on the map, as you see. The very bottom middle cave, I guess, if you want to call it. And basically, yeah, we're just going to basically run in here, go grab the artifact, fly to the obelisk, and then uh, tribute the uh, artifact. And generally, you know, every one out of maybe two, three runs, I will get a soothing bomb. So, yeah, like I said, in a sense, this is how you get unlimited soothing bombs. So, I'm going to show you all the quickest way that I take in this cave that literally gets you through the cave super super quick granted yes guys i do have admin console on it, it yes if you have admin console this makes it a hundred times easier because you cannot die but we're gonna leave him here let's make sure he is on passive probably should put him on neutral but he'll be okay so basically i just come in the cave you now let it you know let the lag set in and anyway i'll kind of go slow so y'all see where i'm going and not just run through it um, basically you just keep going all the way down and I know a lot of people already know this but you'd be surprised how many new people have came to my channel that have never played Ark before so we're gonna go ahead and just run around and whenever I get to the very bottom of this tunnel I go left and jump off the cliff which even if you don't have God console that should not hurt you that bad and generally even even me having God console or admin console I should say I still don't take that much damage generally you can run and jump over everything but anyway, there we can get that if we wanted to. But anyway, once you go down that little little uh, tunnel, you come over here to the left, you jump off, and you just go straight once you jump off. And you go straight, and then you go under this little ledge here. And yes, there's stuff attacking me. And then you just pick this thing up, and then you go to the right once you pick that up. And you go under this little one right here, and then you just run around basically just follow this tunnel all the way out and then you'll come out to the water you want to run and jump into the water hopefully I don't crash your chat we're kind of getting some lag anyway you just run over here you go all the way to the left over here where you see you can get back up and we will hop back up this ledge I think I can hop up like right here and then yeah and then you just run follow this if I can run my guy's not wanting to run for some reason guys there we go and then yeah and then just follow this all the way back up and then as soon as you can turn as soon as you can turn left we'll turn left but yeah you can generally jump over scorpions spiders occasionally you will get stuck so you do have to be careful um but bring a sword you can generally kill the scorpions the spiders super super quick the worst thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna get stung and uh pass out anyway then go up here to the left you basically just keep going left every time you can go left you go left and we'll run up this way and it does help to have stamina and then you go left the first left you can take literally to stay left and now we're pretty much out of the dangerous part of the cave and now we just we can basically kind of just walk and get our stamina back and uh come on let me up and then you kind of you know just, just basically go up just make sure you continue to go up whichever way you go so sometimes you gotta kind of go left a little bit then right a little bit left and we should almost be to the uh, very top of the cave which there it is and yeah, let me go ahead and get on my griffin, we'll fly to the obelisk, and we'll see if we got a soothing bomb this time, which I will need probably for another episode here soon. Which, I don't know which one's closer, the green or the red. I usually go to the green, but if you look at the map, the green I think is actually a little bit closer. So yeah, let me go ahead and run to the obelisk, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we have made it to the obelisk. Now let's see if we get a soothing bomb. And basically, I'm going to show you every time I run the cave. I'm not going to show you running the cave again, but I want to basically show you every time I go to the obelisk to show you how many times you do get a soothing bomb out of how many times you don't get a soothing bomb. Um, like I said, it does take a little bit of time, but basically, it's almost, yeah, it's almost like free, unlimited soothing bombs. 
So we'll go ahead and we'll tribute this thing. Let's see if we got one. If not, I'll go back to the cave and uh, I'll get another uh, another artifact. Oh, where is he going? Oh, got a soothing bomb. Look at that chat. First time got a soothing bomb. So now, as you can see in my inventory, we have one. Generally, more times than not, when I run the cave, we get a soothing bomb. Um, yeah, let's go back and run it one more time. See if we can get two soothing bombs. So I will be back after I run the cave and we come back to the obelisk. So see y'all in a second. All right, I am back with yet another um, uh, artifact. Let's tribute this one and see if we're lucky enough to get two soothing bombs in just two runs. Probably not, but you never know. Come on, give me another one. Oh my gosh, yeah, we just got two soothing bombs. That cave is the best. And I, I don't know if this is true, but I heard from someone saying if your server is on hard, you get better gear out of the caves i don't know if that affects anything i don't think it does i mean, well, i think it affects the gear i don't know if it affects the soothing bombs so if your server is on hard you, you should get like better gear from what i hear like more ascendant stuff i'm not 100 percent sure um i'd have to ask war drum about that and see what they say but man i am so so happy i got two soothing bombs and now we can go tame more dinos and these are the um let me show you guys these are the 10 times these are the ones you cannot buy anymore um, yeah, 10 times taming boost, and if you go to the store, the other one, this one is only a, uh, that's a 15 times, which is a more expensive one, and then you have the minor, which is a 3 times. So really, it does pay off to do the, uh, the soothing bombs, you know what I mean? Or to run the caves to get the 10 times soothing bomb, because you're not paying anything for it. You can generally get one or two pretty quickly, and then if you farm caves all day, who knows how many you will get. So like I said, basically a way to get unlimited free soothing bombs. But anyway, that is it, guys. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and as always, turn on post notifications so you get notified anytime I go live or post a video. That is it. You guys have an amazing day, and remember, take it one day at a time. Peace out. Tell me that you love me